The DCAT work sample is intended to evaluate handling and dexterity. The results of the work sample test can be used alone as measures of these variables, and they can also be used to guide the evaluator to select the just right challenge for a subsequent DCAT situational assessment. Toby, this is a test of your ability to assemble a doll chair as quickly as possible. You will begin by taking parts out of that bucket to place them on the parts mat, putting each part in its correct place as quickly as you can. Take out parts from the bucket in any order. Place the part as close as you can to where it belongs on the parts mat. If you drop a part, pick it up carefully and continue. When I tell you to start, work as quickly as you can. I will be timing you. Remember, work as quickly as you can and tell me when you are finished. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Now when I say go, start placing parts on the parts mat as quickly as you can. Tell me when you're finished. Ready, set, go. Okay. Observation of his performance suggests that Toby did not follow the instructions and perform as quickly as he was able. If this is true, his less than full effort performance is a problem with reliability that puts a limit on subsequent validity. This needs to be corrected. It is certainly clear that this behavior cannot be accepted. This is not only an inaccurate indicator of his ability, it sets the stage for subsequent less than full effort performance in testing and rehab. The appropriate strategy is to do a challenging inquiry. Inquire about the less than full effort performance and retest immediately. Use the retest normative data in the examiner's manual for the proper percentile ranking. Now, Toby, was that as quickly as you can? No, I could probably do it faster. All right, let's put the parts back in the parts bucket and show me how quickly you can do it. Let's do it again. Okay. So, Toby, this time do it as quickly as you can, like you're on the job. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Ready, set, go.
Great. Much better. Now that you have placed the parts on the mat, you will assemble the doll chair as quickly as possible, exactly as the model. You can refer to the assembly manual or to the completed doll chair. Work as quickly as you can. If you drop a part, pick it up carefully and continue. When I tell you to start, work as quickly as you can. I will be timing you. Remember, work as quickly as you can and tell me when you are finished. Do you have any questions? No. When I say go, start assembling the doll chair. Tell me when you are finished. Ready, set, go. Good.